In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an effect in Maya similar to the conform space warp in 3ds Max. So real quick, I'm going to show you how it works in 3ds Max. I'm going to create a conform space warp. And I'm going to choose the wrap to object. I'm going to select this mesh right here. Now I'm going to bind this to the space warp so it's going to conform its shape to this object. And there we are. As I move it around, you'll see it's conforming to the object underneath it. We can create a similar effect in Maya using the transfer attributes tool. Now I purposely left this flat so I can show you how to create that terrain bumpiness looking effect. I like to use a script called displace D. It's available from Creative Crash. It takes an image and it displaces your mesh based on the values of that image. It's very useful. It should be standard with Maya, but it's not yet. Hopefully one day it will be. All you do, you select your object, execute the script, and it adds this displace D node. I'm going to access the node, and for the color, I'm going to assign a noise texture. Change it to Perlin. Let me go back and I'm going to tell it to use the UV coordinates of this object for the texture. And there we are. Next, I'm going to select this object, then Shift select this one. And we're going to go Mesh Transfer Attributes. Reset settings. Choose Vertex Position, turn that on. And down here, Search Method, use Closest Along Normal. And say Transfer. And there we are. Now I can access this object and move it around and you'll see it updates to the object underneath it. If you don't want it to be exactly right on top of this one, there's a couple options you could do. The easiest one is just to go access the transfer attributes node. Find the search scale. I want this middle value, which is the Y. It's this up and down in the viewport. I'm just going to drag this up a little bit and you can see it's moving it and bringing it back to where it started and then the other direction takes it down Oop. so back to one yeah, if I move it this way it's gonna go that way but I want to bring it above the object so I'll just do try 1.1 there we go that looks pretty good once you've done this you can continue on to edit this for example, we can extrude it, give it a little bit of thickness. And it should still behave just fine. And a cool thing with this transfer attributes using the, the vertex normals, or the face normals, is uh, we're not limited to just flat objects. Here I've got a sphere, and I've got this model. They both share the same center point. And I'm just going to select this one, shift to select this one, and go transfer attributes. We'll keep the same settings we did before, say transfer, and there it is. If I rotate it around, it's going to conform to the shape underneath it. And once again, I can offset it a little bit so it's not exactly on top of it. Try doing all three here. There we go. So there you are. I hope this was helpful.